Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Barito by Amy and this is your bar flow workout. So this is a full body workout with some Pilates and bar inspired exercises. You have the option to keep it body weight the whole time or to add some weights and a mini band. You can keep it more active recovery or you can add a little more strength and cardio. I'm gonna give you lots of different options to make it work to where you are today and to your fitness level. Are you ready? Let's do it. Go ahead and start. We're just going to get in touch with our posture for just a second here. I want you to stack those ears right over your shoulders, shoulders over your rib cage, rib cage over those hips, hips over the knees, over the ankles. And just get in touch with your posture and your breathing, making sure we're not flaring out with those ribs or rounding those shoulders forward. Really think about stacking the rib cage over the pelvis, lifting up on that pelvic floor. Feel how when you do that, your core turns on, little tilt of those hips. And then a few deep breaths, hands on the belly, inhale to expand all the way around, exhale, everything in and up. So we're just getting centered, and then we're gonna jump right in. Breathe. Let's get one more. Inhale to expand, exhale, everything up. And let's just start with some little taps right through here. So the way this workout is going to work, add some arms is we're gonna start with some gentle cardio mobility. So mobility to get everything moving that will also serve as our warm up. And then we are going to get a little strength in the middle, a little strengthening and sculpting. If you wanna keep it more of that active recovery, that mobility, that flexibility, then just keep it body weight. If you wanna add some light weights, maybe one to three pounds, I'm gonna be working with three pounds and reach it down then you have that option as well. So you decide, what do you need today? Do you need more of the mobility of the gentle cardio of the stretch? Keep it body weight. Do you wanna add a little burn? Add some weights and the band. Totally up to you. Back across one more time, right through here. But either way, we will start with cardio mobility. We will end with mobility and flexibility. And we're gonna keep it short right here. So let's roll those arms, just a little circle right through here. You do not have to go the same pacing as me. You can take it a little slower. You can even take it faster. Let's take it forward, forward, right through here. Whatever works for you. And do not worry about being coordinated in this workout or being on the beat or doing things exactly as I am. It does not matter, right? Opening it up as long as you are moving. Reach and reach. So you can start to turn those heels out, right through here, sorry, heels in, toes out. Let's go here and up, take it out and up. And think about, again, the flexibility, the mobility of this, opening up the chest, big reach, lengthening to the top, opening up those hips, right through here, keeping the core engaged, right? here to here let's reach it over right here here and center here and center starting slow then as you're ready tap tap yes hopefully you're feeling that stretch by now and a little bit of heart rate right breathe let's bring those knees up knees keeping it out and big arms right here yes opening up chest hips shoulders and back yes let's tap it back right here big reach and center reach and center looks like this again lengthen through the top you can keep just your tap back or you can get low in the lunge. You do you. And breathe right through here. Up, breathe. Core stays lifted. Four, and three, two, and one. Take it right here. We're gonna hinge it forward. We're gonna bring it up. We're gonna rotate back, big squeeze. 
hinge. Bring it up, rotate back, take it forward, up, really open up through here, hinge, drive those hips to the back, and here. Keep it moving, finishing out this stretch, this cardio mobility, breathe, then we will grab some weights, two more, last one, and breathe. All right, grab a quick sip of water. It's a little five minute mobility, five minute warm up. Now again, you decide what you need and maybe you pick up those weights and decide halfway through that you don't need weights today. Totally fine. As with everything else, I'm gonna give you options. So light weights if you got them. We're gonna start with just a little lower body, toes out, and opening up the hips. If you wanna keep it body weight, you wanna keep it higher, that's okay too, core engaged. Here we go, we've got that plie right through here. Yes, down and up. So just like our regular strength workouts, but we're gonna add a little bar twist and breathe right through here. Palms down in front, we're gonna bring it up. So down, circle up. Now, if you have something a little heavier, you might notice that's a little heavy if you got your fives or your eights. So if you want to, one at a time, or you can bring it in a little more with a bend of the elbow. Remember, the further away we get from the midline of our body, the harder it's gonna be. And breathe. Keep it going. Yes. It's a flow, so we're not doing intervals, in case I didn't say that yet, but we're gonna do a lot of repetition. So it should be easy to follow. If you need a break, take a break. We will certainly take breaks. Breathe, hold it down right here. Lift the heels, lift the heels. Little burn. If you wanna keep just the plie in the reach, that's okay too. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Bring it up right here. Pulse at the top. Yes, palms facing forward, weights coming together. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. We're gonna pulse at the bottom for four. We've got four together, three, two, bring it up. Four, three. Now I'm gonna give you an option. You can keep it just this, pulse, palms together, or up on the toes. Ooh, just hold the toes, you don't have to pulse it there. I know, a little bit of balance, so if that's not right for you, take it here, four, three, alternate those heels, yes. Four, three, two, breathe, four, three, two, bring it here. Pull it down and knee, press, down and knee. Now, if it's starting to feel a little like too much for the shoulders, you can bring them in here, just hold them, or you can do one, and then the other, yes. But think of it, four, eight. Think of it as a pull down. Even though it's a shoulder press, think about pulling those elbows in, shoulder blades. We've got four, three, two. Hold it at the top right here, knees. Have your hands here, or if your body weight, you can rest them higher or lower. Up to you, knees pulled in. Core engage, keep the march together. Little press. Now we're thinking about pressing up, right? We were pulling down before. Arms are working, I know, I feel it too. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold them at the top if you can, knees. Think about that stability. We're not worried about speed here. We want stability, we want core engagement, and flexibility through those hips and hip flexors. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Take it down right here, tap. Woo, right, good little burn, I know. I feel it too. Just rest those weights down by the side and just little taps and breathe. A little mobility in between. We're gonna tap it behind. Tap behind and up. Tap behind. Start slow. 
We're gonna take it, of course, if you want. If you want more of that, we're gonna take it to that curtsy lunge right here. Here we go. We're gonna curtsy it down, step it in. Curtsy it down, step it in. It doesn't have to look like a dancer's curtsy, right? It can be more of your strength curtsy. You do you, you don't have to get super low unless you want to again. What are you feeling in this moment? What do you need today? Let's hold it on one side. We're gonna serve it up right here, up and back. So here to here, breathe. It's a curtsy, but watch my arms. Little bent arms, it's a little lift, and then pull back. So you're not just stopping here, you're actually lifting, squeeze. We've got eight, breathe, seven. Yes, you can. If you wanna just keep the alternating or keep it slow, that works too, or a little higher. Four, pull back, three, two, I want you to hold it here, low in the curtsy if you can, bicep curl to the center. So, if you'd rather keep it here, but if you can, keep it low. We've got four, three, two. Good, rotate those elbows to the back, little lift. And up, again, you can stay low or you can bring it up, up to you. If you want, add a little lift, not a curtsy, it's a back leg lift. Breathe. We've got eight. Yes, you can. Elbows up, triceps. I know, maybe it feels like nothing, maybe it feels like everything, doesn't matter. Just focus on the quality of that movement. Three, two, one. Here we go. Curtsy, bring it up, lift. So curtsy, curl, then bring them back, lift. Woo, curtsy, curl, out in front. So it's more about that movement through the shoulders, right? Flow and up. Four more, if that feels like too many parts, pick one. Just your upper or just your lower. Last two, <laughs> two and up. One more and here, right here. We got heels, yes. Don't worry about those arms. If your hands need a break, take a break but just a little lift, little lift, there we go. Up, and up, four, three, two, we're back, tap behind, tap behind, and up. Take it slow, you don't have to get super low, I know, you're feeling that glute. Yes, and breathe, down, and up, right here. Four more. We've got four. A little tap behind three, two. Take it to that other side. What other side you didn't do before? We're gonna curtsy. And up. Are you ready? So we did that little serve it up right here. Take the palms in. Push back. Take it here, right? So my arms are the same. Pull back, lift. Legs are the same. Curtsy. If that's too much balance, regular lunge or just pick one and breathe and here, here we go, four, lift, three, two, hold it up, stay low if you can, it's a hammer curl, so my palms stay facing in, my elbows are up, right, you can either be standing or get low in that curtsy, I know, three, two, one, take them here, we're gonna push out and lift. Push out, so it's still triceps, but it's here. Lift the leg if you can, core engaged. Elbows stay up, back of the arms and shoulders. Four, three, two, let's put them together, we got a breather coming. Here we go, watch me, hammer curl. Turn it up, lift. Hammer curl and curtsy. Up, lift. Don't think too hard on it. If you're feeling off balance, me too, that is your core working. Quality of the movement, right? We're not doing a million pulses today, I promise. I just want movement, mobility, strength, cardio. Take it out. 
One more. Breathe. And up. Yes, team. Set those weights to the side. Again, little lifts. Little lifts inside of the heel. Can we reach? Reach. Mobility. This is what we want more of. So we got just about a minute, guys, of stretching it out with some cardio mobility. Then we're taking it to the mat, all right? I told you. Yes. Up. Four more each side right here. Four. Three. Two. Good. Take it to the back right here. I know it looks a little silly, but actually really good for our brains to have that cross body movement. Big stretch. If you wanna just take it here to here, that's okay too. Breathe, tap, tap. Four more each side, four, three, two, and one. Catch your breath, team. Grab a sip of water, Woo! Meet me down on the mat. We're gonna start on our back. We're gonna work our way to hands and knees. I'm gonna give you options along the way, right? So again, keep it body weight. Keep it more of mobility, flexibility if you want. If you want, keep those weights close by and keep the band close by. Let's go ahead and take it down on your back. So I want you to start here, hug those knees in. Yes, right? This is what we're waiting for. <laughs> All right, team. So I want you to take your arms out wide, get that stretch. I want you to drop the knees to one side. And then you have two options. You can just open up your knees one at a time. Open book, start with just the lower. Or you can bring them up this way using your core a bit to roll through. So join me. Knees come through the center one way or the other, nice and slow. Either utilizing the core through here and let them drop to the side. Either way, even if you're just opening up your knees one at a time, I want you to think about your core engagement, right? Little tuck of the pelvis, little tack of the rib cage. So imagine there's a button at the top of your rib cage, pulling everything in, buttoning it together. Right here. And then I want you to hold it to one side. We're gonna open the book, just our arms. Take it here. Open, if you need to lay flat, that works too. Open. Yes. Now four more, if you want, you can lift the legs a bit off the ground. Just a little lift up. Just up a few inches off the ground. Feel that core working or just keep the stretch. Breathe. Take it all the way to the other side. Drop those knees, open the book. So you got your knees to the side and then you're just opening. You can look over, open right through there so we open up the chest. Now if you want, you can add a little curl. Core, just lift the knees up, just a little lift as you open, then drop it down. Lift, feel those obliques, open. Last one, hug those knees in, roll side to side. Let's take it up, all fours. So we're into that dead bug, you know I love it. I want you to tuck the pelvis, so a little tilt of the hips. Wrap the core in, button up the rib cage, zip up the core, lift up on that pelvic floor. Feel that kick in. If it's right for you, dead bug. And breathe. If you need to take it to a little march instead, or a leg slide, that's certainly an option. Either one. We're gonna progress this, starting here. Close the core. Slow and controlled. And breathe. One more, you can keep it just like that, or hands behind the head. We're gonna go out and in. Just staying lifted, everything's pulled in tight. And breathe. Hold it right here, we're gonna extend one leg out, other leg in, we're gonna push against each other. So we're gonna push for three, two, one. I want you to switch, elbow into the knee, push into each other, three, two, one, do you feel those inner thighs turn on? If this is not right for you, you can come down, you can push on the inside from here. 
If you still get the core and the inner thighs from here, but let's get them in. Here we go. Three, two, one. Yes, you can. Push. Three. If you can't get the elbow, take the hand. One more each side. Three, two, one. Oh, core. Three, two, one. Hug those knees and reach over and grab that band if you want. You can have either the fabric or the elastic band above the knees. Let's take it into a bridge. We love a bridge. If you want just the flexibility, take it nice and slow, no resistance. But we're gonna tuck the pelvis, roll it up, and slowly down. So I want you to start with just a regular bridge. Tuck the pelvis, roll it up, engage that core, stay lifted, and slowly down. Two more just like that. And then of course we're gonna add, breathe, a little press out with the knees at the top. So we get a little extra outer thigh. So you're still taking it slow and controlled. Bring it up, press it out, bring it down. Tuck, bring it up, press it out, and take it down. Two more. Up, out, and down. Last one. Let's hold it at the top. Press those knees out, out, and in nice and slow. Either way, even if you're just doing the body weight, I want you to really think about mobility. Four, and breathe. Three, two, and one. And relax, roll to that side. You're coming over right here. We're up on the elbow. If you'd rather, you can keep it down. If you want, we're gonna go side plank. Watch me, we're gonna lift, lift in the clamshell. If you want to just do the clamshell or just do the side plank, that's fine. Join me if you haven't already. Up, out, and breathe. You can use this hand here if you need to, but we're not leaning into it, right? Our stability is coming from here. Breathe. Take it up. Two more. Two. Last one. Hold this one at the top. Just hold as open as you can for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and relax. Flip over to that other side. Last thing with the band, I promise. And then we're taking it on all fours. So we're gonna go up, up. You might find one's a little tighter. For me, it's this one. If you wanna get that mobility, open that arm up, up. We're getting mobility either way. And again, if you wanna just do the clamshell or just do the side plank, that works too. Up and breathe. Up, take it up and hold this one up. Nice and open, press up against that outer thigh, zip up in that core. We've got four, three, two, Relax, slide that band off. Woo, yes team. All right, take it to that 90-90 since we were just doing it. We're gonna do that little hip roll or 90-90 switch. So you can have your hands to the back, little mobility here, and then we're gonna add on if you want an option. So side to side, if you want more core, no hands. If you want a little extra balance, take it here. Now let's turn in, over, if you can get that mobility. Look over the shoulder, only if that feels good for you. And breathe. Here. And here. You can hold it just right here, or if it's good for you, take it into that pigeon stretch, right? Don't we love it? If you can, bring it in here. And breathe. Right through here, team. You can hold it right here or watch me. Back leg, we're gonna lift, we're gonna lower. I know it's stretch and strength. If you want just the stretch, hold that pigeon. But if you can, lift that back knee, and up. Lift that back knee. Two more, core. Last one. Come up onto those hands, same thing from here. We're gonna lift, lift the leg, take it down. Up on the hands, lift the leg. Take it down. Core obliques, 
And lots of stretch. I told you we were gonna get some stretch. Feel free to just hold the stretch if you want. Two more. Last one. Oh, that's hard, right? Switch your legs to that other side. We're gonna start down on those elbows. So wherever you need to be, all right? If you need to be here and it's a little lift, again, if you just need to hold the stretch. But we're starting here. Find that nice, good stretch. Really sink deep into that, breathe into that. And then remember, we're just lifting this back leg first. You can do a little lift. One might be harder than the other. That's what it is for me. And then we'll come on up onto the hands. Here we go. Little lift and stretch. Little lift and stretch. Yes. And breathe. Two more. Sink deep. And here, up on the hands, right here. A little lift and stretch. Lift and stretch. Boom. Two more. Last one. Come over here, stretch into that child's pose. Sit deep. All right, team, so one more little strength and stretch here. We're gonna sit back into the child's pose. I want you to stretch side to side. You can hold it here or pop up to all fours. Core engaged. Sit back into the child's pose, and then as you come up, I want you to lift up with that core up to just that quadruped, all fours. Now I'm gonna give you an option. You can keep just that big stretch or pop up to plank. We do this often in our warm-ups. Stretch it back. Or pop up to plank. You pick. Do you need more of the stretch? Or do you also want that core and that strength? Up to you. Take it back. And here. Yes. Last two. And up. Last one. And up. All the way down if you can. Up on those elbows, little cobra stretch. Woo. Breathe, team, from here. Just stay in that little baby cobra right here. Right through here. And what I want you to do to get that stretch is you go up as far as is comfortable for you. So watch me using my arms. Three, two, stretch. Three, two, take it down. So it's a little cobra push-up, right? If you're just to here, that's okay too. Or if you're better just coming up on the elbows, maybe that's where you need to be for your back mobility, your upper body strength. Again, if you want just the stretch, just hold it. Up. Two more. And up. Last one. All the way up. And stretch it back. Yes, team. All right, I want you to grab one weight if you got it. Here's what we got, team. It is your bird dog, but it's a little lift. We're coming here to here. Last little strength, then I'll stretch. So opposite arm, opposite leg, with or without the weight, it's up to you. You can weight can be here, weight can be here. We're just gonna lift and lower, use your core. Here we go. <sighs> Strengthening all through the arms and the legs, down through the back of the body, but core is stabilizing. If the weight's too much, just take it here. Shift those hips forward if you wanna feel it a little more. Four, three, two. Can you hold it up right here? Touch and reach, touch, and reach. I know, breathe. Four, three, lots of core, lots of legs, lots of upper, two, one. Sit back, ooh, do you feel those obliques too? Last thing, other side, then we finish with a quick stretch. Arms and legs. Shift the hips forward, opposite. Here we go. Lift and lower. Trying to keep the hips and shoulders square so we're not twisting, right? 
and core engaged. You don't have to lift super high, but if it feels like you're straining, just take it to body weight. No weight needed. Hold it up, reach it back. It does not have to look like a dancer move. You're just getting the mobility, right? Shoulder mobility, hip mobility. Again, you can keep it body weight. Yes, four, breathe, three, two, last one, and relax. Sit back into those hips, Woo, side to side. Relax right through here. We got that good hip stretch with our pigeon, but if you wanna go into it again, you can sit back and breathe. Come up on all fours, just roll through cat cow right through here. We're not gonna do too much of a stretch because we got those stretch and strength intervals and also breathe, sit into those hips. Ha, we wanna get you in and out, but please get some more stretching on your own. I have tons of deep stretch, mobility, flexibility. Just relax into that. Let's come right here. Of course, leave me a comment. Let me know how did you feel? Did you like starting with a little cardio mobility, then working our way into strength and sculpt? Do you perform more active recovery? That's okay. Not everybody loves bar, that's all right. Some of us love it a lot, but we can get bar inspired, we can get Pilates inspired, so it doesn't feel like we have to be coordinated or be a dancer, right? We can just get the movements in to work that mobility, work that strength. Of course, leave me a comment, leave me a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And of course, check us out in the Body Fit Athletic Club over on the Body Fit by Amy app. Would love to have you join us there. And breathe. Let's get one big deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your bar flow workout. Great job, everybody.